Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder of CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about what makes men fall in love. Now, if you don't understand about men falling in love and what makes them fall in love, then, you know, a guy falling in love with you will only happen by chance, which is not a very good way to wait for a man to fall in love with you. Whereas if you know how men fall in love, then, you know, you can actually um, make a guy fall in love with you pretty quickly. So, um, you know, a lot of women, they learn habits when they're younger that kind of push men away and prevent men from, you know, connecting with them in a way that they need in order to fall in love with them. And so we're going to break all that and make it so that it's easy for you. So the key to getting a guy to fall in love with you is a deep emotional connection. And a deep emotional connection, there's kind of four different things that need to happen for a man to have a deep emotional connection with you. And the first one is you need to make him feel like he can be the man around you. So a lot of women these days are they're competing with men to be the men of the relationships and be the man around and and that's really unattractive to men. I mean it, it's uh, you know it, it it's cool to have women who are strong and independent and successful. Like that's cool, but men are not attracted to that. They will not fall in love with you for your impressive resume, no matter how impressive it is. And they might think it's cool, but they won't fall in love with you for it. Um, so anyway, uh, you need to make him feel like he's a man around you. And, and the way to let him do that is to, one, avoid guy topics, and two, um, allow him to be the leader of the relationship. Allow him to pursue you. Allow him to move things forward. Allow him to... Um, uh, you, you know, compliment him for his manliness, compliment, you know, be impressed when he tries to impress you. Um, do all those things, you know, just allow him to be the man around you and your relationship and, and he'll, you know, love you for it. Uh, the second one is to make him feel sexually desirable. A lot of women don't know this, but uh, men actually get a lot of validation sexually from women. Um and if you want to make a man feel sexually desirable, tell him he's attractive. Tell him he's hot. You know, there's there's a bunch of techniques that I actually have in other videos and podcasts and stuff like that that you can check out about um, how to make him feel sexually validated by you. But that's a very, very important topic. Um, next is giving him space before he needs it. Uh, men pull away, man. That's something that men do naturally. And if you give him space before he needs to pull away, it'll make the amount of time that he pulls away a lot shorter. Whereas if you, when he pulls away, you're like, you know, trying to connect with him and, and moving forward with him, it'll actually push him further away. Men need time to recharge and go in their little man caves and, you know, do whatever it is that men need to do. And, uh, not only do they need you to respect that time, but they uh, if you give them space before it happens, it'll shorten that period of time dramatically. And lastly, the last thing you need to do is show them that you're on the same team. You know, there's a lot of kind of male bashing going on in our society right now. And a lot of men feel alienated and pushed away and uh, like they don't really have anybody there for them. And so if you can show a guy that you're on his team, you're a part of his support team, you're a part of his winning team, it can go a very long way to making him feel safe around you and comfortable enough to fall in love with you deeply and uh, wanting something uh, long-term with you. So that is it for this video. If you want more information on how to attract Mr. Right into a committed lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com and take my quiz. I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.